Okay, now we need to talk about layers. I've set up a scene here where I've got a plane and three boxes. Each of the boxes are a different color, about the same size. And when I drew these boxes, I just left them as a default name, uh, box one, two, and three. If we click up here on the toolbar under Manage Layers, we see that it gives us zero as a default layer. And if we expand that out, we see here's my plane. And then I've got box one, two, and four, not three. It doesn't uh, allow us to see which box is which other than looking at specific colors, like for instance, box one is green. Well, if I had another box that was green, then this wouldn't do me any good. So the first thing about layers we need to understand is we need to l name these individual pieces so that we can understand what they are in the layer. So I'm gonna come up here in the modify box with the yellow box selected and I'm going to call this yellow box with no spaces in there. And then I'll name the same, do the same thing with the blue box. And then the same thing with the green box. Now when I click on my layer, I can see I've got green, blue, and yellow boxes. Now with these selected, I can select all of them using my control and click on each one. Right here on the create new layer containing selected objects, when I do that, notice that the plane stays with one, with layer zero, but it creates a new layer called layer 001 if I expand that out, all of my boxes are in there. Now I can rename this layer and call this box layer. So now I know this is the layer that contains my boxes. If I want to just work with my plane, I can simply hide my box layer. All of my boxes are gone. They're still there. They're just hidden. If I want to see them, but I don't want to accidentally move them, I want them to stay still, I can actually freeze the entire layer. Notice they turned white, indicating that they're frozen. And now I can't actually select them to move them. They're, they're there. And that way I can just move with my, uh, just edit my layer with my plane in it and move it around, do whatever I need it to do. And then when I get done, I can unfreeze that layer. The other thing about this is I can actually tell it which layers I want it to render. So for instance, if I turn the rendering off on box layer, when I go to render my object, Once all these are turned off, the renderings are turned off. Once I render my object, it doesn't actually render any of the boxes. If I want to turn on the blue render, it renders my blue box, but leaves the other ones off. 